Hi there, hey there, hello there guys. Welcome back. It is October the 10th. It's kind of late today. It's already 3.40 p.m. Um, where my work schedule changed. I didn't get off till 11 o'clock last night. We stayed up probably to about 4, 5. So I slept today until 1.30. So ooh, my schedule is all out of whack and I don't really like it. I much prefer getting up around 10 or 11 o'clock just starting my day. Um, but I decided I'm going to do an OMAD today, one meal a day. Um, I did make me some coffee. This is Starbucks Toffee Nut. I did put a little bit of a heavy whipping cream and some monk fruit season, uh, sweetener in there. Um, I'm not big on the toffee stuff, so I'm not sure why I even had this, but... Like I told you guys before, my regular coffee, I looked at it and it expired in 2019. So, uh, not going to be drinking that. And the only other one that I have is the peppermint. And I just didn't feel like a peppermint mocha this morning. So, I decided just to do heavy whipping cream milk fruit in the coffee. Um, I've had a Powerade Zero, one of the small bottles. And I have my water. I'm just trying to stay hydrated right now. i uh, feeling really... Got a whole thing of water here with ice in it. Feeling really kind of just not right. And I don't know why that is. Um, having like a lot of pain in my knee. I didn't sleep very well. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just, I honestly just don't know what's going on with me. Um, the hubby's back here. He's playing a video game. <sighs> And I have to work today, go in at 4, which is in about 20 minutes. we got church tomorrow. Man, sorry, I'm tired. It's just like there isn't really much going on. Um, tonight, though, I'm going to make my homemade spaghetti sauce stuff. Because we're going to do like a, like a bolognese. Not a bolognese, because I ain't putting nothing funky in it. I'm just doing bell pepper, onion, and the tomato, uh, crushed tomatoes, and I'm going to make my own sauce. going to do my ground beef, and we're going to have that over top of cauliflower rice with, you know, like mozzarella cheese and Parmesan cheese and stuff like that. So, trying to just do, do that and eat today. Um, I mean, I still have food in there, but I just don't feel like cooking it. Um, we got sausage and eggs and all that stuff, but I just didn't feel like it. I just wanted to do coffee. I wanted to give Omad a, a shot for today. See if I can kind of get my body to feel better. Um, I don't feel like I'm out of ketosis. Um, but it's a very gloomy day here, as you can tell. <laughs> it's just very gloomy, and I'm just not feeling the best in the world. So, Gonna try to do whatever I can do to make myself feel a little bit better and we'll see how it goes. I may end up caving in and you know eating something, I'm not sure. And something, well, I need something, but the husband last night when he was eating his pork, I even with mine I noticed that it was real pink on some of it, and I was like, I don't understand. I mean, I cooked the crap out of that thing and it was still pink, and I put mine back in the skillet. Well, he didn't let me do his. And he, all night long, was having to go to the bathroom. Um, I was like, I hope he didn't get no kind of food poisoning or anything. But he seems to be better today. No worries. But that was kind of scary yesterday. And that's part of my thing. I'm just like, oh, it's just, if there was anything in there, let's just get it passed out. Um, I'm like starting your day with a nice diarrhea story, huh? <laughs> I don't even know. Anyway, almost time for me to go to work. So I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Hey guys, I just got off work. It's 11.28. I'm getting ready to cook dinner. We did it successfully. One meal for today. That's all we've done. Haven't ate anything. Feeling pretty good. Drinking lots of fluids, but we're good. I'm gonna go ahead and show you though what we're having for dinner. Okay, so what I've done here is I do have one bell pepper and I have half of a very huge onion. And I have one and a half pounds of ground beef, and I'm gonna saute all this together with salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and some red chili flakes. Okay, so I've got the ground beef ground. There's a lot of grease in here, but I'm gonna leave it. I'm not gonna strain it. You know how we do. So the ground beef is brown. 
The peppers are still just a little bit, a little harder. They're not as tender as I want them to be. The onions are looking good, and I've already added in my crushed red pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. I'm going to add a whole can of crushed tomatoes. This is a one-pot meal, guys, so it's so simple. I'm going to add a whole can of crushed tomatoes. This is the big one, too. This is like a 28 ounce. Um, we haven't really had much carbs, so there is a lot of carbs. There's like maybe, it ended up being maybe like 13 carbs just in tomatoes a piece, but that's all right. We may not even end up eating it all, but I'm going to go ahead and add this to it. I'm going to put in some oregano, maybe a little bit more garlic powder and onion powder. Tomatoes have been added, oregano has been added, some more onion powder, garlic powder. This did create quite a bit of flu uh, fluid, liquid, so I'm just going to let this all kick down. I'm going to mix it up, let it cook out some, lose some of this, then I'm going to put some cauliflower rice in. Okay, so I had one bag of cauliflower rice, the steamable kind. I went ahead and did that in the microwave, steamed it up, drained it, strained it, got the water out. I'm going to mix this all together and then throw in some mozzarella cheese and some Parmesan cheese, and that's going to be it. And I'll show you guys the finished product. Guys, just so you can see, there hasn't been any cheese added to this yet, but the cauliflower rice is now mixed in, and it is pretty thick, and this is exactly what I wanted. It's kind of like a goulash, um, and I love that, but we're going to do mozzarella cheese and Parmesan cheese, and then eat this. So I'm going to show you the bowl in a minute. Okay, guys, finished product. I went ahead and put some cheese in it. Got some Parmesan cheese there, but... Oh my god, this is so good. This is definitely right up my alley for any of you that love Italian. This is it. Good stuff. Homemade sauce, meat. What more could you want? Gonna have some of our 90% chocolate as well for dessert. This is our one meal for today. So with that, we will see you guys later. Take care. Bye!